Yo, what it do? You're watching Three Wands, a series where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu, and you're back. It's good to see you. I'm glad. <laughs> if you're a returning subscriber, please like this video, share it with somebody. You know it's gonna help them. Comment, let me know that you, that you love me, because I love you. If you're new to the channel, please stick around, like the video, leave a comment how I can make these videos better, and subscribe, because why wouldn't you? I'm Lord Shu. So, let's get back into it. Today, in the Book of Focus, we are wrapping it up, y'all, with the last step. So far, you've learned how to organize, prioritize, and practice how to do these things. Now we've come to the final step, self-reflection. Let's talk about it, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the, the almighty hybrid manual magazine. You can get this download for free at my website. Also, the link is in the bio where you can download this for free. If you wanna buy a hard copy, it's in our shop at hbsxpopup.com, hbsx. All this information is in the description box below, so y'all can check it out. How can one stay grounded through distraction? Because that's, that's the biggest problem of the world. Distraction. It's through self-reflection, okay? What ways can you self-reflect? I've got five ways you can self-reflect to help you stay grounded so that you're not distracted. Establish a relationship with a higher power, i.e. yourself, source, God, ancestors, angels, etc. In order to really truly stay grounded, you gotta, you gotta surrender to life. When you start trying to control too much, too many things in your life, you begin to um, make yourself miserable and you begin to get lost in a bunch of other things because instead of just simply experiencing life, that's what Keys to the Island is about, is experiences over materialism. Mind over matter. The experiences of being a human being. Having money is an experience, yes, but it isn't the only one. <laughs> Number two meditate daily when you clean the slate there's so much more that you can be given it within your mental state so this video is probably a precursor to uh the law of mentalism <laughs> when you meditate every day you're in that space of of nothingness because that's what god is just it just is and the goal truly in the end in keys to, using keys to the island is to become more spiritual because that's when everything is given to you and you don't have to chase anything Number three, keep a daily journal or diary. When you write in a journal every day, you are self-reflecting. This is for your ego now. Not for your spiritual brain, but for your ego brain. When you keep a, jur a journal or a diary, you're literally recapping the moments in your life for you to be able to go back to them or to burn them and forget them forever. Or to go back to certain key moments in life where you're like, man, what did I do wrong this time that I'm in the same, I'm faced with the same situation. How could I go about this better? And meditating daily is perfect for your spiritual brain. Four, vlog your journey, which is what I'm doing. Vlogging your journey helps you connect with yourself on, on that level of like meditating, but you, you're God watching yourself. When you vlog your journey, you become God for yourself and you watch the things that you're doing. And I'm not saying vlog for like um, for like a social media platform. Vlog your journey for yourself. There's no need to make a YouTube channel and vlog it. I just do this because I want to help people. That is my purpose in life is to help people. Vlog your journey for yourself or for others or both. And then number five, creating boundaries. You cannot self-reflect harder than creating boundaries. I done solved my problem by creating better boundaries for myself, I'm gonna recap these five points and then that'll be the end of today's video. Number one, establish a connection with higher power. Two, meditate daily. Three, keep a daily journal or diary. I don't know if there's a difference, but whatever. Four, vlog your journey for yourself, others, or both. And then five, create boundaries. So it takes Establishing a relationship with higher power, meditating daily, keeping a daily journal slash diary, and vlogging your journey to be able to create everything proof boundaries to completely just protect yourself from the things that take away from your concentration and focus. Because the point of 
self-reflection in context to the uh, book of focus is I know that distraction is the number one problem in the world. How can I solve that problem? I need to concentrate. How do I concentrate? I need to focus on specific things, but it starts with organization. Then you prioritize what you organizing, and then you practicing every single day, staying focused and concentrated on the things that you want to do by practicing organization and prioritization. And then you're staying grounded in that by self-reflecting. Staying true to yourself will show you what you really want and need. So that's what it really come down to, y'all. That is pretty much it for today's episode of Keys to the Island, Three Wands. If you like this video, like it. Leave a comment. Let me know how I can make these videos better or that you just love me. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're returning, please share this with somebody and let them know, hey, Lord Shu wants to help you be a better human being. I'm Lord Shu. Holla!